change your attitude on the field. What's your question? goes first. Are you asking? Well, any of you, anybody can take it away. How did you maintain your attitude on the field? I'll lose my attitude all the time. Just stay busy. Just stay so busy talking to people you don't think about losing your attitude. Okay. Simple as that. I used to do that too. <laughs> And that's because you guys are not asking questions. You want me to ask all the questions? Yeah. yeah. We're here to learn from you. Uh, Hi, in the back. Yeah. I have a question for X. Xavier? Yeah. X uh, Xavier? Xavier. X Xavier. Oh, Xavier. Only one person called okay, you. Okay, great. Um, if you can track back to your days as a, as a winger in the field, mm -hmm. tell me, what, 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 was your, what worked for you mostly? Work me in the field. Yeah. Uh, definitely CPR. CPR. So I, I think the biggest thing, the sales program, what we do, especially on our program now, is every single day you have someone in the store. So whether it's yourself or someone in your office, there's someone in the store. So the biggest thing I look at is how can I separate myself differently from the person that was in the store yesterday? Because I still have the same product. I'm still selling the same shit. So it's why should they get it from me, opposed to the person yesterday, opposed to the person tomorrow? So if I can create a connection with my customer, if I can build a rapport. If I can make that connection, they're going to buy from me. They're going to get it from me. So I think that's the biggest difference in sales is the customer buys you. And if you can find that common ground through your icebreakers, through your C principle, through your CPR, you're going to make sales.